Okay, so here is this video just clarifying a few things that were not made clear in the instructions and just giving you a couple pointers and things uh, for making your Lorica Segmentata. Uh, so first thing is a lot of times when you're working with the tape, the metal repair tape, or the uh, foil tape, um, you will get these big wrinkles in the tape and it looks kind of weird. So one thing that I figured out is you just take the scissors, like the handle of the scissors, hold it by the blade and it, it smooths them out real nice. Um, you have to do this a lot if you want it to stay smooth and it's it's not going to stay smooth unless you do it all the time. Um, so, that's, but it's just a little note. Um, also, if you cut duct tape with scissors all the time, the action of cutting can get a bit, uh, the, the duct tape residue gets on here, and it can, let me focus in here, yeah, and it, uh, can gunk up the scissors, make them really hard to use. The best way to do this is you just take a piece of duct tape, and you put it on, stick it on real tight, and then you just pull it off and it just gets the gunk out of there and even though so you might still see some stuff there it might be a little sticky it, as long as the big clunks are, uh, the big chunks are gone you should be able to use them just fine um, now one part is that the the most difficult step in the whole armor and this is hard with a video without a video whatever um, is to do this strapping here this is just really complicated um, it I mean so, I'm just gonna, this is mainly what I made this video for, is just explaining that process. Now, I conveniently forgot to strap these plates here, so, yay. So what you do, start out, is you want to stretch the plates as far as they're going to stretch. So, uh, or wait, sorry about that. So you want to stretch the plates as far as they're going, you want them to stretch. So. Like in this case, you'd pull it to here, right here. Um, so you pull the, pull the plate that you're about to strap all the way. You pull the pull the plate in front of it all the way, and then you kind of eye out the distance. So you, you pull these two plates to their maximum extent that you want them to extend, and. And then in there, you just want to kind of eye out the distance between this plate and that strap. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but just, you know, kind of eye it out. And then you just want to take a piece of duct tape about that length. And you want to cut it off. One thing, you don't have to use scissors for the duct tape. I don't know if, I, I think this is generally known, but... You don't know it, you can just pull off a piece, put your thumbnail here, and just tear it. Now, it can get a little messy sometimes, and you won't get a, if you don't get a clean tear. Um, so, yeah, it's just, so kind of make sure it's about fits in there. And then, you want to get a smaller piece of duct tape that's smaller than this and let's see you know I don't know maybe this like this or something and just cut that and now this part's kind of tricky um, you want to line them up and then very carefully this one on it. Now if you do it right, you won't really have, you should not have any over, they should like perfectly overlap. Now if you get like a millimeter or so there, that's not going to stick. So yeah, um, and now how to actually strap them together. So what you're going to want to do is 
So you strap, pull the plates out, maximum extent. And it should be the the plate that you're about to attach it to, and then the plate behind that. And then, so attach it to the strap here, here like that. Oopsie. Um, this this part is just really hard. Um, Now it's obviously easier when you don't have a lot of plates in there already. Uh, just get the camera in place here. Uh, so what you want to do, and again, this is hard. So it, you, like on some of my older ones, I didn't strap this, and it just gets really messed up. So it's definitely necessary. Okay, so you want to kind of, yeah, so again you have to make sure that they don't overlap, uh, they should, they should like perfectly overlap, um, so once you attach it to one side, to this other strap, you want to pull this to its maximum extent, stretch this out, and put it on there. So this creates that flexi, but it'll it'll get held tight once it reaches the maximum flex. Now one optional thing you can do, and I do this, is you can take a piece of duct tape. Um, and these last two plates here that I forgot to strap, you don't actually have to strap them really because they won't flex that much on their own. Um, it's probably a, a good idea to, but it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna kinda like this. So you take a halved piece of duct tape and, and also make sure that you didn't do what I just did where this strap attaches to the next plate too. I yeah, that, that was really not good. Kind of hard to fix. Well, uh, so what you do? So that looks like now for this strap, since it's a very small strap, I'm actually gonna need to use a quarter strip because this is the second smallest one. it on right there and this, this is the thing I just put on and this will hold the this will secure the strap so they don't move around so they don't because they can come off sometimes and you don't, really don't want that to happen so what you want to do um, for this last plate here and again it's optional to strap these but it's probably a good idea um, this one is very small as you can tell so what you do is you take a piece of duct tape and cut it cut it off and you want to cut it in half now this is kinda hard to do to get it to do it right because generally duct tape is sticky it's hard to hold it sometimes but, uh, that's generally how I do it. So, take and definitely take your time with this. There's no hurry. Longer, slower you go, generally. I mean, do a point, obviously. Uh, the better this is going to end up working out. And then you want to cut it to length. Now, you're going to end up needing both of these. So, what you want to do is, now I accidentally messed this one up, so, yeah, what you're 
So what I'm going to do is just take the part I cut off. Now, usually you would not do this because you wouldn't mess it up like that, but luckily this is about the right size. So then you get this little strap here. And now this one, you, this one's just kind of hard to do. Uh, let's see. And again, it's optional to strap these plates, but if you... There. If you want to, I would recommend it, because it will get you an overall... The more tape you can put in there, the better. like this and there you go so that's pretty much how you do the strapping um, sorry I couldn't get a video on like how to do it from start to finish for all the plates but <sighs> yeah um, so one thing you can do and I didn't do this because I was trying to make this kind of quickly yes it's optional um, and this is a bit more historically accurate, uh, and will make structure, will make better armor. It just takes forever. Is to strap, put to do strapping along here and along here because one major problem here is that. This can obviously go like that, and if you want to avoid that, you should definitely do it if you have the time. I didn't. I had to make this fast, so I didn't do it. I probably will soon, but, uh, so that's just a note if you want to make your armor stronger. Uh, again, it's optional. Like, you have to do the, the top strapping along this edge that you just have to do that otherwise the armor just won't work um but yeah uh so and also note um like you see these wrinkles here don't try and flatten these you, when the armor is flat uh like when you before you add the shoulder plating and the back plating when the torso plating here is lying out flat um, and it's not segmented up, you, that's when you do that and do the best you can, but, so really do try and do a good job there because at this point you, you can't really flatten them out. Uh, on these you still can, so, I, I recommend doing that if you're gonna, like, present it to someone or use it as a decorative item, definitely flatten these, because, uh, so that it does not look like foil, even though, you know, it is foil. <laughs> um, also, just a random note, if you watch this video before you even start construction and you have a lot of time and the right equipment, you could try and use the same patterns on sheet metal. I'm not going to do this because this is a lot, a lot of work and I don't have the right setup, but if you do have access to the equipment, and are willing to do it, I mean, it will look really cool. Um, but yeah, and it'll, you know, look more accurate, but uh, I'm, I wouldn't personally recommend doing that unless you really are committed, but uh, if you want a challenge, there's, there's definitely one right there. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.